Welcome to the Frontend Development Roadmap 2024, from basics to advanced skills. Whether you're just starting your journey or looking to advance your existing skills, this guide will help you navigate the essential and emerging tools, techniques, and concepts in front-end development. Let's start with the fundamentals. At the core of every web page are HTML and CSS. HTML provides the structure, while CSS handles the styling. For beginners, mastering semantic HTML and responsive design with CSS is crucial. Moving on, we have JavaScript, the language that brings interactivity to web pages. Understanding basic concepts like variables, functions, and how to manipulate the DOM with vanilla JavaScript is essential before diving into any frameworks. Now the next step is to apply what you've learned with some beginner projects. Once you have a grasp on the basics, it's time to start building. For beginners, consider creating a personal portfolio website to showcase your work. This project will give you hands-on experience with HTML, CSS, and basic JavaScript. Another great project is a simple to-do list app where you can practice DOM manipulation and event handling. These projects will solidify your understanding of the fundamentals while providing tangible results to show potential employers. Next, the next thing to learn is how the internet and browsers work. When you type a URL into your browser, a complex process begins. The browser sends a request to a server via the HTTP or HTTPS protocol. The server responds with the requested resources, and the browser renders the web page. For beginners, understanding this process is key to building and debugging web applications. For more advanced developers, diving into concepts like DNS, CDNs, and how the browser's rendering engine works can provide valuable insights into optimizing performance. Now, the next thing to learn is version control. Git is the most widely used tool for tracking changes in your code. If you're a beginner, GitHub is a great platform to start with, offering easy collaboration on projects. For those with more experience, exploring advanced Git strategies like branching, merging, and contributing to open source projects can significantly enhance your workflow. Next, the next thing to focus on is front-end frameworks and libraries. As you progress, you'll encounter popular front-end frameworks like React, Vue.js, and Angular. For beginners, these frameworks provide powerful tools to build complex applications. Advanced developers can focus on upcoming features, the broader ecosystem, and how to choose the right framework based on project needs. Now that you've got a handle on frameworks, the next thing to dive into is styling and UI design. Styling and UI design are crucial components of front-end development. Beginners should become familiar with CSS Grid and Flexbox, which are essential for creating responsive layouts. As you advance, you can explore CSS and JS, Tailwind CSS, and other modern styling approaches that streamline the development process and improve maintainability. With these skills in hand, the next step is to tackle more advanced projects. Once you've mastered UI components, it's time to take on more challenging projects. Consider building a fully functional e-commerce site. This project will challenge you to integrate front-end frameworks, manage state, handle form validations, and optimize for performance. Another advanced project idea is developing a progressive web app, PWA. PWAs offer a native app-like experience, combining the best of web and mobile applications. These projects will push your skills to the next level and make you a more versatile developer. Next, the next thing to consider is performance optimization and best practices. Performance optimization is key to delivering a fast and responsive user experience. For beginners, it's important to grasp basic optimization techniques, such as minimizing file sizes and leveraging browser caching. Advanced developers can delve deeper into core web vitals, code splitting, and lazy loading to ensure that their applications run smoothly under various conditions. Now, the next step is to explore tooling and workflow. Effective tooling can greatly enhance your productivity. For beginners, tools like Webpack and Vite can help manage your development environment. More advanced developers might explore the benefits of Vite and ESBuild, which offer faster build times and improved developer experiences. Staying current with the latest tools can give you a competitive edge. Finally, the last thing to cover is accessibility and SEO. Accessibility is an often overlooked but critical aspect of web development. Beginners should learn the basics of making websites accessible to all users, including those with disabilities. 
advanced developers can use tools to audit accessibility and ensure compliance with modern standards. In parallel, understanding and implementing good SEO practices can help your site rank better in search engine results. Now, you may ask this question, how long does it take to learn all of this? The answer depends on your dedication and consistency. It can take a few months to grasp the basics and a year or more to master advanced skills. The key is continuous learning and practice. Don't rush the process. Stay curious, keep building projects and your skills will grow steadily over time. In conclusion, the front-end development landscape is always evolving. Whether you're just starting out or looking to advance your skills, there's always something new to learn. Remember, mastering the basics lays the foundation, while continuous learning and tackling challenging projects are key to staying ahead. Explore the many resources available online to further enhance your knowledge and keep pushing the boundaries of what you can create. Thanks for watching. If you found this roadmap helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with others who might benefit. Keep coding and see you in the next video.